All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at what the uh, ring modulator actually does. So here we have a blank, uh, a blank batch. We're gonna hear the sound. It's using two oscillators, two sawtooths to be exact. If you turn it over to the single oscillator, and then we're gonna turn it over to the second oscillator. Identical. Put it in the middle. Got both. Now the ring modulator is down here. So what this does is it says noise volume, but then it says ring modulator. So if you hold shift, turn it up, it almost turns it back into a single sounding oscillator, just a lot more gruff. Now if I turn detune all the way down, If we turn detune up a little bit, I mean, it's just a really nice bass sound. A little low pass filtering. The cool thing is, though, is when you use two sine waves, you actually start to get more of an organ tone. And this is how easy this can be to create. So we'll go to a new patch. Right? Cool. So now if we go to turn the ring mod up, we select sine wave for oscillator one. Select sine wave for oscillator 2. Now you start to hear that it's clicking, the attack, in the beginning. So you can remedy that by adding some attack time. Add a little release. Cool. And basically we've just created an organ tone with two sine wave oscillators and the ring modulator. Now you can change the subtle characteristic by adding more detune. When you add the sub oscillator, it's almost like the poor man's LFO. So that's essentially the, the ring modulator. Before. After. So that's essentially the ring modulator in a nutshell.